Hi, and welcome to Joseph's Model Railway, albeit very messy, and Toy Room. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, just a little bit of housekeeping. You don't need to like, follow, or subscribe. I just put the videos out there where I can have a holly jolly great time doing so. And I say that all the time because there's so much other stuff you need to do on YouTube. I don't want to take up your precious time. Get over to those other videos and check them out. They're good. Now, in today's video, um, Noodle Knocker Junction is finished. Oh, I was hoping you were going to be seeing that today. I've been very busy and the coastal scene is finished. We're not seeing any of that today. We will be seeing a whole lot of excitement happening shortly. But in the meantime, it's an absolute news flash because I ordered a part last year and it just arrived this morning. I was so excited about this particular product. It's an absolute game changer that I've been waiting more than 10 years for. So what is it? Well, it happens to be from Hornby. It's the HM DCC Bluetooth Legacy Dongle. Now, for those playing at home, this is HM7040. Now, off the top of my head, I cannot recall what this uh, product cost. It could be anywhere between $50 to $150. It's not even important at the moment. This is worth every single cent. And if you can find one, grab one. And here is why. As mentioned, I love the Hornby approach with the model railway. And when they brought out the Hornby DCC Elite Controller, this was my forte into DCC. And I have no intentions of changing. So of course, for many of you that have gone down more advanced routes, you get committed into more serious systems. And I'm making reference here to things like Digitrax, uh, the Rocco system, MRC, Forgive me, I'll need to look them up. I don't know because I don't use them. Uh, Gauge Masters Prodigy, NCE, uh, Lens, uh, ESU System, Backman. Okay, so there's heaps of stuff. We're not going into any of that. The Hornby DCC approach with the Elite Controller was the simplicity I loved, and I do love it. That's why it's here doing my layout. The one thing I could never understand is on the back of the unit there's all this interconnectivity and as firmware became available we could interconnect to other systems so much so hornby even brought out some additional software including hornby railmaster which as the picture indicates you can run it on your computer and i thought that's kind of cool so why don't we and remember we're going back now some 10 to 15 years ago I picked up a refurbished Panasonic Toughbook. Anyone that knows about these laptops know that these machines can really take a beating. Anyway, so I picked one up on the cheap and the key thing about it is, and here we see Windows XP, that's how old it is. Uh, the fact that also was a touch screen, I thought, well, that's kind of cool. To which we then of course had installed the Railmaster software. And at the moment, this is just showing a demonstration of it. But the whole idea is we could come in, put the locos in and control it from here. And I really liked it, but I could never understand why it was never available for a Mac version. Okay, for those of you that know, of course, we can be using virtualization, virtual PC parallels, VM Fusion, where a whole range of ways to make it work on a Mac. That doesn't seem like the Hornby way. Simplicity is always going to be the key. So we put this aside and basically this laptop just sat idle, although I used it for other work purposes. Then of course the introduction of the smartphones came out. And of course with it, we saw the Apple iPhone and the Android families and everything else where we're comfortably touching away doing it. And the introduction of these app stores. Let's be fair, it's still a program. But I could never understand why Hornby didn't bring something out that meant we could somehow interconnect to this. I mean, they've got the ports on the back. We just needed some form of adapter and away we go. Now I make an advance apology because I'm filming this video on my iPhone and I don't have a spare one on hand. Probably should run over and find something else. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna have a really brief talk about it. And they give us the instructions. This is the instructions. And to be fair, most of it seems to be in every other language except English. It doesn't really matter. I have a total commitment of 14 minutes. This is exactly how all this went down. I walked in, couldn't be fast enough to unpack it between a few jobs during the day, couldn't make sense of these instructions, just looked at the diagram saying you plug it into the port on the back. 
So I plugged it in. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Scan the QR code with your phone. Takes you to where you need to download the app from Hornby. Of course, it's free. Log on with your Hornby account. Of course, if you have one, I'm always on the forums, having a chat there, finding out more information, sharing some opinions. So that's a quite straightforward thing. As soon as you've got the app on your phone, you plug the little dongle in, turn on your Elite controller, go to add device, it will find it. It may want to do a firmware update. That's done. We are literally still in the framework of less than 60 seconds at this point. And I understand some of you don't have fast internet, but still, this is a very quick process. I did choose to do a firmware update and all right, that did take maybe a full 60 seconds, not taking anything away from it. I put it in, grabbed the phone, opened the app up. I said, ah, oh, here we go. We can engine shed, we can add a locomotive. Quite simple, we can take a picture of it to identify it or do however you wanna do it. I just took a quick picture of a locomotive. I had two from the Christmas running session, our class 08 and a class 37. I said, fine, we'll just plomp that on because the rest of the layout is a bit busy. Stick them on that back line at the moment, added them, and of course the addresses, number three and number eight, and that's it. And then I turn the speed controller, the train moves push stop, it goes. It also uses the haptic feedback in the iPhone as well, so that as you're making it, you've got that tactile response that you've actually made a command. Big deal, all of you already have all these abilities anyway. I did it, now I do. Take my phone in a simple way and control the entire layout. For example, when I'm at Noodle Knocker Junction, bringing things up from the fiddle yard, I can comfortably be there and control the lot. But why is it so exciting, honestly? because of what else you can do on the screen. And that's always been the biggest thing. With the DCC control and all these functions we have in locomotives, whether it be sound and lighting, uncoupling, and all of those exciting things, we need to be able to get to them. And the biggest thing I found with the Elite controller is that it always seems to be you're fumbling through different menus, remembering numbers, commands. It gets a little mechanical. And I always thought, wouldn't it be good where you could just literally just have the panel of functions and just touch them accordingly. That's exactly what you have now. So when it comes time to just touching on the lights, maybe that's on function zero or function three, on, off, turn on the cab lights, maybe that's function 12, just tap it, away it goes. You can name it, you can assign it, you can do all of the things you've been doing before, but in a really simplistic visual way. We're gonna see a lot more on this and I'm only just scratching the surface on how simple it is. So in less than 14 minutes, updates and everything aside, it's just been plugged in, here it is. I've done nothing else to the layout but put the trains on, didn't even touch the controller, went straight to the phone, and as you can see by this quick screen recording here, you'll see what I'm doing here, whereby I can just call it up, select number eight. Here are the basic controls to go to change directions and indeed to change the speed that we're traveling in. And if we have a quick look at the class 37, I'll just tap these function keys now. And that gives you a rough idea about turning on lights and things like that. Okay, let us see how we go with a bit of a demonstration. So here is the phone that I shoot the videos on. It's just an older style uh, iPhone 12 or something. I'm not too sure. Here's our date and time just to make sure I should be at work. And uh, what we'll do, we'll open it up and also we'll just bring our brightness up because I am one of those people who likes to go for extended range. Ironically, it would look a bit better if I did trim it down. Now... What we've got here really basically is I've put the app we need just here at the front at the moment on the home screen. So it's HMDCC. And when we open it up, you'll notice across the bottom some key things. That's obviously for your control. Here's where we're linking additional devices and accessories. Uh, here's if you've got your track plan in and you're going to be doing things with points and things like that. And of course, here's where we've got the settings. And of course, this is where we can add what they call a new vehicle. And we could say locomotive, and we can get a picture of it up here. 
give it its name accordingly, type in the address of whatever you've addressed on the DCC system, if it's active or inactive, perhaps it's something you've just got in storage, and where you can customize the CV mapping for the chip and uh, profiles and anything else you've set up or remove it as necessary. Um, again, uh, changing the functions to create situations here and uh, doing more advanced programming as necessary. We're not going to worry about that. We'll just go to control at the moment. As you can see across the top here, we have we can flick between the two locomotives, which I just took a picture of. Of course, the class 37. And in the back there, as you can see, we have our class 08, which I didn't even give a name yet. But I guess the key thing is, let's just bring that up at the moment. And of course, if we just bring the speed control up and change directions, you'll see we are in control of this locomotive. In fact, let's just slow him down. And it's nice that you get that feedback as it's going as well. If we swap over to the other locomotive, and I guess this was the point. Once again, the same thing, if we were to bring some speed up and change direction. And change direction again. You can see the lights are automatically gonna change. That's just obviously the way that's set up. And of course, if we use the brake feature, you'll see it just takes it down in increments in speed to give it a more controlled stop. I guess the thing I just wanted to quickly point out here as we've brought it to a stop is if we go down to the functions, and I think it was function number eight or nine. What's well, eight? Eight turns on those interior lights. And I really don't know enough about my own locomotives to change all the different settings and I don't have a sound one on here at the moment, but you can see how much easier that is, especially if you are you can adjust the scenes accordingly to how you want your functions to behave, which is great for me because when I'm taking a key locomotive across the layout and about to go across a road where there's a railway crossing, in time I can just tap my horn accordingly and I can drive and operate the train the way I like it to be. Again, flicking along. Again, we haven't even touched the controller today. We just activated some power in it today and that's all that we've done there. And we'll just change direction once again on that one. And we'll slow him down. And as always, if there's a situation where you need to stop and hit stop, it'll stop. So I think that's really good. You can So I think you can see just by a quick look at this, how far this application will probably go along in time. And once you've spent some time personalizing it, this is a tremendous asset. But the fact you can now go along without having to plug into your boards, you've got this complete wireless solution from nothing but your phone and just an app which again, no subscription, here it is for free. It's definitely been worth the wait. And of course you do have a master stop layout at the top, the same as you would have on the Elite controller with its big red button. So all in all, this is an absolute success. I can't wait to share more of this with you. So as you can see, there's really not much to it. It's just this little dingley that hangs out the back. And if we have a look how we plug in, you can plug into either of those ExpressNet connections at the back. It doesn't really matter. Plug it in and that's your wiring done. So hence you can see when I talked about 14 minutes, that's what it was all about. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to say any more. You can see this is a whole video in itself that can go with some further exploration and what we can do. And as I get time to play with it, so be it. At the moment, with the scenes under construction, of course, I really am not running trains at the moment. But in the next couple of months, we'll probably have some back on again and we'll go delving further into this wonderful little device that has taken a long time to happen. But I must say, for anyone that's got a Hornby Elite controller, or I believe the Select as well, this really is a game changer. We can finally now bring Apple into the party and control it from our iPhones. And that's a big deal. For a lot of you that are purchasing the brand new locomotives, you can get them already with the Bluetooth option in them. I really didn't want to go down that avenue. I wanted the idea of just having what I have in the controller and just interfacing it over to my phone. So this is still doing the hard work. 
and I can just push a few buttons on the phone and get some trains moving. Girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, as always, that is going to do it. It's a really quick snapshot of what the future has got. Hornby are finally delivered. Apple and Hornby, perfect unison, finally come together. Expect to see a whole lot more fun. We'll go into more depth on what we can do with this. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. Do yourself a favor. Go out and buy one. Plug it in if you have an elite. And let's have a whole bunch of fun. Till the next one, stay safe. Toodles.